Hello, I'm Renan Erickson, and I'm an evangelist with Adobe. What I want to show you today is Chrome and Arduino working together. So communicating from Chrome to Arduino and Arduino board back to Chrome. So this is a picture of the board I have with a red um, LED and pin 13 and ground connected through USB to my MacBook Pro. I'm using the Chrome serial API with methods like get ports to get a list of the ports that are available and then open one of those ports and then do functions like read and write to communicate back and forth between uh, my Chrome extension, this Chrome app that I have installed as a Chrome extension um, to the Arduino board. So here's my extension and I just load it up as load unpack extension. Here's my source code even with the sketch file in there. So we have a manifest and uh, different things and even the sketch file to Arduino. So let's take a look at what this actually is doing. Um, go ahead and reload it and then I'm going to launch it. So what we have here is a port, um, TTY, which is on my Mac. That's how I'm connecting to the Arduinos. So I actually filter all the different ports because there's some blue Bluetooth uh, by default and different things. I'm connected when it opened up, it connected correctly and basically now the Arduino is, is sending back commands of when the light is on and I'm using that to tell the logo to go up um, alpha and non-alpha uh, blink count how many times it's blinked and then I can basically tell it to take longer on the blink and so now you'll see the logo will be um, um, there longer um, as with the value I set for like three or four seconds there so let's take a look at the code so I'm going to open up the Adobe brackets here we have our manifest um, app, so I'm doing permission serial to use that. And then basically, it just calls down the background, which then calls the main HTML file, which I have a uh, place to add all the ports that are live, and then the connected status on the, the slider and a blink count. And then everything really happens in blink.js here. So on load, um, I go ahead and uh, set the slider. Uh, event listener and then serial get ports is where we set up the ports. So first we go ahead and filter that like I mentioned. We're going to take out any Bluetooth references and only look for dev TTY and then set up that and then uh, it does if it picks up more you can change them and it will try to reopen the port. So open the port actually does the open here and it goes to unopen. Unopen we basically say we're connected and keep a, a reference to the connection ID that we'll use to, for all the um, different Chrome serial read and writes because you need to know what uh, port you're doing those read and writes on and then we basically do an on read that then does a lot of stuff and then calls on read so we're constantly reading off the serial um, to see if there's available uh, data so I, I basically am looking for certain kind of values um, and I'm just adding them to the read buffer unless I hit one of my commands so I'm using A, B, and C as my command codes um, because I'm just reading one byte off at a time here and then do different things like change the opacity based upon the A command B was just uh, to spit back the value that I sent in so I'm not doing much with it I'm just resetting the opacity and then C I actually uh, set the count and then on the set position we just do a write simple enough send a, a one byte array buffer with the position and send it across the wire to set the Arduino so fairly straightforward um, the uh, on the Arduino side the sketch file is a simple blink example with some added stuff so I want to know how long the length will go so set how long the high um, on the pin 13 gets set so it's on and then here's my commands my serial prints are how I'm sending my commands back this is how I'm listening to listen to see if there's anything available and I read it off and I change the value and then always sending out the blink count at the end so every time it blinked so fairly straightforward all the files are available again on my github uh, or look for a blog post at renan.com explaining some more thank you